Hi, ho guys and gals. It's the bear. We're we're back. We're back, and it is time for Amazon early access. I don't. Do you know what the early access means? I have no clue what they mean by early access. Uh, I mean deals. It means deals, right? It has to mean deals. Uh, so let's jump into it. First of all, I want to thank today's sponsor. That is Slick Deals. Slick Deals, of course, the premier online community for finding all sorts of great deals. That is, of course, besides here. Uh, anyway, they've got a special thing going on right now because the bear can't cover all of this sale. It's two days, 24 hours each day. That's a 48 hour sale, guys and gals. Uh, but they've set up a community specifically for this sale going on over at Amazon. And I'll have a, there's a link. Actually, there's a link right now down below. Um, something happened to my tracking there. There we go. Oh, I'm back there. Anyway, there's a link down below down, down there. And uh, you can click on that. It'll take you right to this page. And it has all the hot deals that everyone, I mean, they've got 12 million people posting deals all the time. Lots of great deals here. Uh, and don't forget, they also have a browser extension. It's totally free. It's low carb. I Zero trans fats, as far as I know. And uh, you plug it right in your browser. And then you just, as you're going to other uh, sites and shopping and whatnot, it just pops up and like, hey, by the way, there's a slick deal on this. So check it out. But we're here to talk about Amazon's don't call it Prime Day's early access sale. So let's jump into it. Let's see what all they got. Of course, you know, the, uh, let's see here. We'll click, you know what? You're going to go through this right here with me. I don't have any of this planned out. We're going to sort through this and see what is what and see if any of it is worth buying. And I'm going to, if there's links, people are like, hey, I want to see a link to this. I will post links in the comments. Let me try to say hi to everyone real quick. Frozen yogurt in the house. Ray Gobbles in the house. Hey, Ray, how you doing, man? Oh, my God, can't believe I'm finally going to catch a live stream. That is so awesome. Uh, Gabagoo's in the house. Masato K. Justin Snyder. Early access equals deals starting for everyone early. It's like Harbor Freight parking lot sale. It is. Uh, Die Diz listening in at work. Stealthily. Stealthily. We got we to gotta keep it down. Don't want, don't want Die to get in trouble there. Uh, Anthony's in the house. Dr. Falcon, I've been looking, I see a lot of junk. Uh, we keep lagging out. Well, we're we're on, we're in the mobile den tools, all right? So we're, we're I've got a 36 foot long uh, Salem travel trailer and we've got the new Starlink set up for RV service. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the upstream speed is not the best. We're gonna be setting it up on a pole here. In fact, I just ordered it today with some of the early access deals. So let's go back and let's talk about some of those deals, shall we? All right, let's see what we got. Okay, we, of course, you know, tool bears that we are, we wanna see uh, some tools. So let's jump over here and let's head over to, you know what, first though, I do wanna take a look at like, what's going on with all the, just the all around hot deals. So let's shop and see all the deals. Amazon, uh, Fire TV Cube, we use this at home. I absolutely love this. We use the uh, she who shall not be named, the A-L-E-X-A person. And we do use that around the house. It's really useful for a lot of stuff. Um, and we have it connected to our TV. And we, you know, we have Amazon Prime, if for no other reason than the uh, the TV access. We watch a lot of the stream stuff on there. And this just is a, a great box. It's small. It's convenient. It just works. And $60, that's a good deal on that one. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, in fact, you know what? I, as I said, we will put the deals Let me in the chat. So let me snag that and shrink it down some because nobody wants 500 <laughs> letter links. Steve's in the, in the chat. How you doing, Steve? Buckshot, Dos Bagos, uh, Battle to Death. A lot of car chargers on set. Yeah, that's a big thing here. Yeah, living the, the RV life. I don't know if, if you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you get to see some of the behind the scenes stuff. I posted a riveting video on TikTok the other day, yesterday, from sitting in front of the laundry at the laundromat. That was so much fun. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Oh, my gosh. But that, you know what, we the wife and I, we talked about it, and we're like, you know what, the space it takes up to get a washer and dryer in an RV, plus with the family, so it's easier to just like once a week, go to the go to a laundromat and use one of the big things and just turn out all the laundry in like an hour. It's a lot more convenient. All right, anyway, there's a link to that. Let's keep going here. 
Um, uh, let's see here. Bum 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 bum. Um, handpicked table. Da da da. I've not seen anything. I my wife swears my AirPods. She <clears throat> she used to wear those ones that would go around your neck and then have little earbuds that come out and go in. She because she listens to basically as I call them how to murder your husband shows all the time. She does not care for the pros. Something about the they changed the shape. She likes the longer ones with the longer stem on it, and she uses them. She's always got one in one of her ears. She sleeps with one in. It's weird. Uh, I guess it's a good way to not have to listen to me. Uh, Ninja Air Fryers and stuff. Ninja, I won't say it's the top brand out there, but they make some really good stuff, don't they? Um, I, here's Gener Okay, let's take a look at some generators here, all right? Always, I'm a big one for having additional power sources. Uh, if you've been around the channel, you know we, we do reviews on solar generators, power stations, as, as they're more aptly called, uh, and gas generators as well. Let's see what we got here. The Duramax, that's, I mean, it's a it's a good it's a good generator. It's the dual fuel. Um, I don't know if I would call it a stellar deal because if you've been around the channel, you know we see that deal all the time. Maybe a few bucks less. Let me take a look at it. Um, let me check the pricing. Maybe it's like nine ninety. Is it like fifty dollars less? Um, I think this is a different model. I I think the one that we're talking about is maybe the single fuel or something because this one normally sells for over a thousand up to fourteen hundred dollars. Oh look, I clicked on the pharmacy link. I keep doing that. I don't need to go to the pharmacy. Uh, so anyway, that's. I guess that's a pretty good one. Let me see here. I mean, Duramax is an okay brand. They're they're not like a top tier. They're not a Honda, a Predator, or a Champion. Uh, but for I mean, that's a big generator. That's that's what I'm missing. The thirteen hundred. That's a big boy as far as generators though. Now remember, if you do run it on propane, you're gonna get less power on it. But this is a home generator kind of thing uh the thing is about it it's not an inverter so that means it's going to be on the louder side it's open cage this is you're going to want to get like a an enclosure or something for that if you're going to run that any significant amount of time uh but anyway i will put a link to this because that is a good price on a generator that size um i'm getting that link here um want to put cut down a laundry put the kids up for adoption or make the kids do the laundry. Uh, you know, and I keep telling the wife that the kids have to do more around the house, more around the house. And the problem is she has the same issue that I've had and I had to overcome in business. And that is, never mind, I'll just do it myself because it's faster for me to do it than explain it to you. But if you don't stop and take the time to explain it to them, they'll never be able to do it. And then you'll always be stuck doing it. Uh, <clears throat> Stray Cat App says, hey, Jeff, just saw seven new Cobalt 46 uh, mobile workbench at Lowe's, but no displays. I We just talked about that in the video yesterday. Somebody sent me a link to some, or sent me some images from uh, behind the scenes over there. And Andrew says, I set the playback speed to two times to catch up to the live, but now it's normal speed. You just sound drunk. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, I'm getting you a link on this one here. Just a second here. Boom, boom, and shaboom. There we go. All right, let's m move it on. And we're walking, and we're walking. All right. And I can't even re remember what movie that's from. That was, it was funny, though. All right, let's see what else we got. We got PJs. Now we're going to pass on the PJs. Let's see here. If you see something I'm scrolling through, do you want to shout it like, hey, Bear, go back and check on that? Let me know. In fact, you know what? One of the deals I was looking for, one in, in particular, because uh, it resonated because I'm basically I got the same deal. Let me go over here to the, oh, here we go. Uh, no, that's the Omni. Where, come on, where'd you go there? So I'm, I'm back over on Slick Deals here, trying to see what they got. There was a TCL, and, me, and it might, because a lot of these deals are lightning deals. They're, they're up and then they're gone. Uh, but they had a TCL TV, the 55 inch for $260. And that's the one I actually use in the RV. And I'm using, I'm actually looking at it right now. And for the money, it is fan freaking tastic. Uh, I don't see it. Maybe we'll keep going through Amazon here and see what we find over here. All right. Well, 
that's the current hot sales. Let's see about that's lightning deals. Da, 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 um, where's television, electronics, consumer, cell phones? Um, uh, I guess electronics could be electronics. Um, guy Google says M18 rocket lights, 149 at Ace. That's a great deal. Uh, I don't really need more tools. What? I don't know what that means. It doesn't make sense to me. I know the word, those words are, you're saying words, but I don't think they mean what you think they mean. Uh, Mike Adams, listening in while driving to Camp Lejeune. Watch out for the water there, Mike. I heard the water at Camp Lejeune is bad. <laughs> Any of you who've been seeing the ads for that, it's, they've just been spamming those out. Father to the Father says, sound is low. Sound is, well, let me see here. Let me see if I can get it. Unfortunately, I can only get so much here. Let me see here. Da, 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 that's, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, I got too many windows open, folks. Just too many. Uh, there we go. This, well, I've got the sound up. I know. I noticed that the sound on this was not as high as I would like. So basically, I'm holding the microphone as close as I can. Uh, we'll just keep doing that because that seems like the only way this is gonna work. I can just. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? How about that? All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go back over here. Uh, Prime Early Access MacBooks. Da, da, da. We talked about electronics. Uh, Ace monitors and accessories. That's not what we're looking for. This thing that I hear, the SanDisk. Uh, I have this drive. It is fantastic. I absolutely love that thing. Um, I use it with an MSI laptop. And for portability, you know, in uh, doing this whole, you know, YouTube thing. Always got to take data, especially since we spend about, you know, a third to half our year down here near Vegas and the rest of it up in Montana, always bouncing back and forth. Uh, that uh, That's what we got here. Amazon Fire TV, 55-inch series, 4K, UH. Okay, that's decent. That's the, we'll, we'll take a look at that one in a second. But I'm looking specifically for this TCL one. Um, Hisense. I have a Hisense that I use at home on my desk. The sound on it, the speakers are awful. It sounds like a tin can inside a tin can. It is terrible. Uh, the TV itself is, is okay. It's not the best. I don't know if I would. I couldn't possibly recommend Hisense. I mean, if you're on a super budget and they're super cheap, I get it. And that's how I ended up with it. But um, all right. Well, I'm not seeing the TCL. That's. It's got to be here somewhere. It has to be, right? I don't know where <clears throat> where they would have hidden it. All right, hold on. Let's do this. Let's do TCL. Da -da -da. Let's see here. Da -da -da -da. No. All right. Those are, these are phones. I want television. I don't. Want, I don't want phones. I want a 4K TV. Oh. That's what I want. Right there. 4K TV with Roku. Ah, oh, it's at $360. That's still not a bad deal, but it's not as good a deal as I would have liked. Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso is hilarious. At least the first season was. I don't know. Are you watching Ted Lasso? The first season was was amazing. The second season, yeah, and then I, I, I kind of like made it halfway through the second season. But that first season was so funny. All right. So this is the Amazon Fire. This is not the TCL. We're looking at a 55-inch 4K UHD smart TV. UHD is uh, ultra high definition, uh, just basically 4K. Um, anyway, uh Fire TV 4 series. I don't have a clue what that means. Uh, it looks like all the other TVs like this. Uh, 43 to 50, 55 inches. The base. I hate these bases that they've been using these days. Those things are terrible. I mean, they work, basically. Um, would I get that for 360? Or would I get... That's the same thing. Did I not click on the TCL? Well, still, two fifty. Look at this. All 
Uh, let me check the comments real quick. Gear wrench has some good deals. We're going to get around to the gear wrench. And it's Levick. Any good portable fridges? Levick. Levick who? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Any good? I will check portable fridges. You know, I've got two portable fridges right now. And uh, for doing road trips, they are fantastic. I'm the kind of I'm the kind of bear that likes to do a straight drive uh, right on through. Uh, we drive. I drive from uh, from central south central you know, south central uh, Montana down to Vegas. And oh my gosh, who who's calling me? Spam. Spam is calling me. Sorry about that. Um. Anyway. Uh, and and getting uh, having like a cooler full of snacks and uh, um, what should we call it? Uh, get some sandwiches in there. Get some uh, Coke Zeros in there. Some other treats. Toss them in there, and then get a bag of orange slices and throw those up on the dash so they get nice and warm from the sun. Anyway, that that's my uh, that I can do a straight shot. You know, nine hundred miles easy like that. All right, let's see here. This is Insignia. Insignia is a, it's an okay brand. It's a budget brand, but it's not bad. 50 inch class, uh, LED, 4K, smart fire TV. You get all the stuff built in there uh, for $250. Oh my gosh. Cannot believe how cheap these TVs have gotten. I remember my first flat screen. I think I paid $1,600 for it and it was 42 inches. Uh, and... I, I remember my first computer monitor I bought. It was 17 inches. It was $270. And that was a screaming deal back then. Now I can get a 50-inch flat, flat panel 4K. And that's the thing a lot of people don't realize is that you can hook up a 4K TV directly to your computer. I might, my laptop here has got an HDMI port on the side, and I can output directly to it. You might have to fiddle with some of the settings to get the... Um, to, to get the text as crisp as you want. But I got to tell you, I would not go back to using a standard monitor. At my desk that I work on, every, everywhere I go, all my setups, I've got uh, like a 40 to 50 inch 4K monitor set up as my desktop. Um, yeah, it's I know I'm spoiled. Anyway, let's see here. Uh, the earlier deal was around 150 for 55. Oh my gosh. Uh, any portable fallout shelters? I'm in one, actually, and I highly recommend you buy an RV. I, I love the RV life. I got to say, that said, if you are going to buy an RV, do not, under any circumstances, buy a new one. Don't, in fact, I would not buy anything made uh, in, tw in 2020, 2021, or, 20, or, or after. Uh, 2019 or older. Now, there is an issue with some RV parks where, in fact, actually quite a few of them, where they want your, your rig to be 10 years old or newer. So you're, you're going to be shaving off a few years there, but you're going to, A, you're going to be saving a ton of money off, off of what a new one would cost. And B, when the pandemic hit and everyone started going out camping and stuff and buying RVs, they started doubling the production and the build quality is terrible. Now I got, I am a nice little camper here. Not so little. It's 36 feet uh, long. It's got double slides. Basically it's a two bedroom. It's a, it's bigger than my first apartment. Let's put it that way. And, but next to me is, uh, there's fifth wheels all the way around us and they're all brand new. And when I talk to the owners, they're all lamenting like, oh my gosh, I just got this and I got to take it back in for service. And a lot of them are, are, are trying to do the, the, you know, living in their RV kind of thing. And if you got to take it in and drop it off for service and it's going to be there for three to four months or six months, the, I mean, what do you do? It's like, that's my house. I can't just leave it with you. And I just bought it. Why am I have to take it back? I, I'm telling you, if disconnected. And we're back. Uh, yeah, so I'll have to do a whole video on the whole um, uh, Starlink thing. Anyway, let's get... And this is the latency we get from Starlink. Come on, update. There we go. Ooh, Black and Decker. That's <laughs> terrible. Oh, my gosh. Do not buy Black and Decker. There's, there's just no reason. There's other... I would buy Hyper Tough before I would buy uh, Black and Decker. But let's take a look at Works because Works is really up to their game. I got to tell you, uh, the the Pegasus folding table not my favorite style, but a lot of people love that table. Uh, electric lawn edger. I mean, I don't know if you got to be serious if you're going to buy a tool that is specifically about edging, and you just can't take your your weed whacker and turn it on its side. Works. This thing here, the the Trivac thing, they 
they came out with it. That's one thing about works is they're not afraid to innovate. And I got to give them kudos to that because uh, they're the ones who basically started that whole trend. Uh, the, the, this vacuum, uh, it unfortunately, it doesn't suck <laughs> the way it should. Four amp hour battery for $62. That's maybe in the works uh, franchise. That's a good deal, but that doesn't seem all that great. We got the power share hedge trimmer here for 97. Anything else exciting? We got some inflators. The, if there's one tool that they should make well is the multi-tool here. And I think that they do. And the reason I say that is works parent company is the same company that owns Rockwell and the, you know, the one tool that Rockwell is known for, cause they only have a handful of them is the multi-tool, the cordless multi-tool. And it's a decent multi-tool, good, quick release. And this is the same thing. Uh, for some reason, they don't put the slant on the battery. It goes, uh, perpendicularly like that uh, i don't i haven't used this one uh myself so uh, i've used the rockwell one uh i don't know if that's going to get in the way there but i would say for a, a good budget uh especially if you're already in the works line that's a no-brainer to get that uh look <laughs> look at this pole saw you just took a chainsaw and stuck it on the end of a pole oh my gosh <laughs> i'm sorry I'm sorry, I'm a little overcome by this cordless pole slash chainsaw with auto tension. This is literally a chainsaw stuck on the end of a pole. Um, supposedly it works. That it works. $119, not a bad deal. I, and it, 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 the only issue I have with this is you since you've got all of that out there rather than just the, the head unit itself, it I mean they're already cumbersome to deal with. Uh, pole saws is and i use them quite often trying to we got some box elder trees that are always they grow like weeds and uh, we're always working on those things uh let's see what else we got here uh the stapler for 90 dollars. that's not too bad the drill driver that's not the new nitro the one that they sent me the nitro is fantastic see this is what i expect this is the kind of pole saw you want right there 118 dollars Grass trimmer. They have a decent grass trimmer. I actually bought one of these and do as my OBS disconnects and reconnects. Who it is getting toasty up in this mug here. I've got the AC turned off because it is just so loud. Uh, but it is, I think it's going, it's going to be just either. It's going to be right around 90 degrees here in about an hour. All right, there we go. All right. Straight Catnip says, hey, Jeff seen a lot of duratech on sale flex head stuff duratech is a decent um and the but yes the buffering is on my end it's the starlink thing that i have uh the the duratech is decent beginner diy budget kind of stuff it's not super high end but it it's it'll do for most homeowners for most homeowners you'll be just fine with it all right let's keep going and see what other tool deals we got here the olight um all right, I got to see this, what Olight does. See if it's better than an Olight sale. I doubt it. Uh, oh, not too bad, honestly. That, but I'm a huge fan of the Baton 3. I love that because that with that clip, you see how it's got a double reversible clip? You can clip that onto the brim of your hat and use it like a like headlamp. And I, I always have a ball cap sitting around somewhere that I can stick that on. And that I absolutely love this light uh some of the other ones they get some decent weapon lights and stuff the pin light the pin light is actually pretty good i just wish it was uh rechargeable and from what i've seen and i like the pebble pattern on this the olay warrior is it's essentially just a bigger version of of this one it's 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 a good light it's a good little hand light but i and i have one it just it ends up it's in a drawer and i think it's dead i, I just don't use it that much um i should try this one we got all these bikes and stuff i should get one of these and try it on there uh you gotta love all the colors the olay bulbs i love the olay bulbs but with the deals i'm seeing here these are pretty much the equivalent of the prices you would get in an olay sale but you're not getting all like the freebies and the other stuff so i might hold off and i unless there's one of these specifically you wanted to get and you didn't want to get anything else that might be the way to go. All right, let's take a look here. I guess we can take a look at the Bosch stuff. Let's see what else is going on here. That, <laughs> uh, I love whoever thought that was good to be the good marketing kind of thing there. We got Eureka Vacuums, Wise Smart Home. You know, I use a lot of Wise cameras around the house. 
Um, so that the, I'm a big fan of their stuff. Uh, let's see here. Any fluke? We can take a look at some fluke stuff. Nico, Nico, you know, we're big fans of Nico. They make some great stuff. Little giant ladders. Those things are fantastic. Skill power tools. You know, I love me some skill. We'll check out some of the DeWalt hand tools and tools from Amazon brands. Those should be terrible. Let's check those out. We got more fluke. Uh, random Orbit Sanders, Green Wave, blah, blah, blah. Let's see here. The Bauer Glue Gun. I have the Bauer Glue Gun. Um, and, uh, it, you know, it's so convenient having a cordless glue gun. I love it. All right. I think that's most of this stuff. All right. Let's see what we, let's see what we got here from Bosch. Oh, of course, we got the laser and the distance meter. There's your nice basic Bosch grinder for $36. If you want a solid workhorse uh, grinder, not nothing super high end, just a, a little four and a half inch, it'll do the job and it's going to last as long as you own it. That's the grinder to get right there. Um, the the Bosch router here, that, that little router there, that's a nice little trim router there. At $69, that's a good price on that. The sander there, that's not too bad. Nice bits. I've not been a fan of this weird, what do they call this thing? The they got some weird name for it, where it's got the impact uh, impact driver as well as the impact uh, uh, wrench, kind of all in one kind of thing. I don't find myself often being like, "Hey, I need an impact wrench and an impact driver all at the same time." Um, the, the masonry, nice masonry, or, or not masonry, SDS bits there. Um, oh, look at that, one hundred fifty six dollars. That's not all that stellar a deal. I mean, it's it's not bad. But it's not the right home, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how cheap that is. Uh, da, 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 da. Don't make me start singing here. I'll do it. I'm not afraid. All right. Anyway, so there's a couple good deals in there. Definitely that grinder. The router's not bad. Um, let me do that. I'll put a link here to the Bosch stuff. Let's see what we got next. Da, da, da. Deep South says, I have wise cams. I use them too. Uh, Groundhog says, little giant kind of sucks though. After you extend it, you have tiny little rungs to stand on with the weight. Not for me. Uh, I like the flexibility of the stance. I don't extend it all, honestly all that often. I'm, you know, I'm a bigger bear and I'm in my 50s and I got cubs. If I need somebody to go up high, they're going up high, not me. Uh, not much in the way of wise. I mean, the plug is okay. $8.30. If you like to automate your the plugs and that kind of stuff, that's a good deal on that. Um, and I do. I did actually end up finding a use for a light bulb like this. Not that I'm like really into accent lighting or anything, but I did set up one so that uh, I can hit a key on my, uh, my stream deck and it turns it red to let people know that I'm recording and to leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> It's actually, it actually works pretty good. The only problem is that I often forget to turn it off. Fluke. Um, if you don't buy one of these, you go with a different brand and it still works. Uh, I guess it was just a fluke. Anyway, there's a joke in there somewhere. we got to workshop that one. Uh, Clamp meter 265. Nice backpack. 170 bucks. Um, let's see. Any other hot deals? This is, I don't see anything really here that like the homeowner needs to be like, oh, I need to get that. That's, that's definitely something I need to get. If you are in the trade, if you're a Sparky or something like that, definitely some good deals on here. Uh, but uh, definitely more high end than most people are going to need. And let me put a link for it in case someone's interested. Let me drop that right about there. All right. Best adult dating site? Oh my gosh! Uh, this, my channel? You think my channel is the best adult dating site? Uh, let's uh, let's report them for spammy spammersons. Poof! All right, and then we're gonna hide the user on this channel. Okay, look at that. Um, love the combo anvil design. Carry one tool to junkyard. And have impact and drill options. I could see that. I could definitely see for specific cases that that would 
that'd be a real go-to kind of thing. Um, Ray says, wifey randomly bought a Bosch 18 volt blower for me. Tool only. I'm not on the Bosch 18. <laughs> oh, they, they just love, you know, they're trying to do the right thing. My, my wife has learned long ago. She tried that a few times and, uh, got all, uh, backside hurt, if you will. When I was like, you know, that, I, that, that doesn't work. Um, the Fred says last night had to go to the ER because my back, Oh yeah, that's right. You were saying your back was bad. Blasted nerve going down my right side. I swear it hurts worse than a kidney stone. It hurts so bad. I was almost in tears. Oh, that's terrible, man. Um, Drell says he's right. The ladder is rough on the feet. Little giant tough on the legs. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else what do we got. Come on. We got to have some more good stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, also, don't forget to check out our sponsor if you're new in the chat. Slick Deals. There's links down below. They got a whole uh, page here just finding all the great hot deals that other people are finding and posting over here in the community. They've got 12 million people and and, and one, at least one tool bear. Uh, Kershaw. Kershaw. You know what? I'm, I'm just not, Oh, look. There's that Sandus 2 terabyte. That's the exact same one I have. Uh, that is... A fantastic if you're looking for some extra uh some extra storage or some portable storage this is a great way to go i've never got what's well, up this isn't even on amazon what <laughs> why is this in the amazon deals it's a front page it's still a good deal 160 dollars and it's directly from Western Digital. I guess they own SanDisk now. That's terrible. Um, let me do this. I'll put a link down here if you're interested in wanting to get, get, getting one of these. Um, boom. All right. Let me close that. There we go. All right. And don't forget, you can get your free browser extension. All right. Let's come back. You can go away. We'll come over here. Any other great deals? Da, da, da. Funko Pops, if you're into that. Oh my gosh, Child Inflatable T-Rex. If they made one for my dog, I would probably get it. I, I think I would have to do that. All right, let's keep going. We got Nico. Let's check out some Nico stuff. Hopefully they got some good stuff. Imp now these adapter sets, I, those are a, a go-to. I love having a set like that. For $10, that's a good deal. Center punch, yada, yada, hammer. The flip socket set, I was just talking about the flip socket set. Your car should have one of these. That's every vehicle you own should have one of these sets in it. Um, that's going to allow you to not only have an uh, adapter or the socket for your vehicle, but if you need to help somebody else or your little wife's car breaks down or something, you just, I, I'm always needing one. There's for some, and it's and nine, nine times out of ten, it's not for me. It's for someone else. Breaker bars. Let's see what else we got here uh master torque set for 52 dollars. that's not too bad um the three eighths drive impact socket set 59 dollars. that's a good deal which one, this is the half inch this is the master set i have this set uh full disclosure they send it to me i did not i did not buy it but it is a fantastic set the only problem i have with this set is my cubs not putting the sockets back pardon me there um that's a great that that what was the price on that 161 that's a good deal on that um they got a lot of good stuff let's i i highly recommend nico when it comes to impact sockets uh they're a good company they stand they've been around for years uh they stand behind their products and they make good products at a, at a reasonable price uh, I know a lot of people have picked them up since we started talking about them. So I'm going to put a link here to this deal. There's that. All right. Um, Fred says, I have the little giant. I love it. Hard to believe they're saying Walmart is hurting. What? Walmart is hurting. Well, yeah, I don't know. That That's the problem with, with companies like Walmart. You're selling everything at bargain basement pricing which means you got to sell huge volume and stuff and your margins are low. So any breakdown in, in supply chain, any break, any, any kind of fluctuation in buying trends, and you're going to get hit the hardest first. 
Um, right way says, Hey bear, love the content, but, uh, can early join you live. Thanks for your efforts. Uh, commitment to us. Tool junkies much appreciated. <laughs> Eric says, I did. Nice. Um, who made those impact sockets? Uh, Nico. Um, someone asked about a dashboard camera earlier. Who is, I've got one dashboard camera that I like and it's, let me see here. It's a dash cam. Whew. All right. Da, 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 da. Hold on here. I got to change the fan settings on my laptop because it is getting toasty. I have it on silent. The problem is I have a ton of apps running and it sounds like a, like a jet engine when it tries to keep itself cool. I can't blame it. All right. So let's see what we got here. Right here. This is it. I've had tons of dash cams sent to me. In fact, I won't do reviews anymore because companies won't stop sending me their dash cams and they're all terrible. Uh, or they're at least there's, there's nothing out there that's like fantastic, like movie grade quality. If you want that, just mount a GoPro in your, uh, in your dash. But that said, this company here, Ultra Dash, they sent me their new one that's like four inches wide and it's got a camera on each side and you can pivot it and stuff. And it, I hate it. I hate it. But this thing, this is great. And here's why I love this. You got your dash cam sitting on your dash, right? Well, there's some areas of town where you don't want to leave a piece of technology sitting there because someone might smash your window and try to take it. Or like here, if you're down here in Vegas, it'll cook it. It will cook and kill most dash cameras or if we're up in montana it will freeze and die if you leave it in the car overnight so what do you do well it's got this quick release magnetic mount and it works it does not lose the camera what i've gone off-roading with that thing and uh it's small it's unobtrusive it gets a good image it's 1080p uh, i wish it was 4k but it's good enough and when you get out of the car you just snag it you know, pull it out just Put it out. Uh, sorry, you just grab it, put it in your pocket, and go. And it's fantastic. I absolutely love this thing. Lowest price in thirty days. That's a no-brainer. Uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend this camera. In fact, I'm about to buy another one for our my son's vehicle because uh, he's about to start driving. He takes his driver's test. Duncan, Duncan, you listening? He's taking his driver's test at the end of the month. Uh, so claws crossed on that one. Um, Anyway, there you go. There's your dash cam for the day. That thing is fantastic. All right. Um, any decent flex head metric wrenches? We will check. We haven't gotten to wrenches yet. Uh, what's early access about? I thought it started today. I don't know. what. I mean, it's, it's basically prime days all, all over again is what I'm seeing. I don't know what's early access to. Early access to, I guess, holiday deals is what they're talking about. Little Giant, 22-foot, multi-position, aluminum ladder, 300 pounds, $250. That does not seem like the best price I've seen on that. Um, a year ago, it was selling for $232. I think you can get... Here's the deal. I think you can get a better deal on ladders like this waiting for there to be an in-store deal because uh, it just costs so much to ship them. In fact, I'll go over to Harbor Freight and get one of the Franklin ladders. It's essentially the same thing. Uh, works great. I've had both of them. I have, currently have both of these. I have a little giant. I have a Franklin ladder. Um, and I, as far as the quality, I can't tell much of a difference. All right, let's see your skill. All right. Uh, compound dual, but that's the 10 inch. I thought it was the 12 inch. I mean, it's not bad, but um, dual bevel sliding miter saw. Da -da -da. Any other deals? $82 on the router, but it, it doesn't have the plunge base. So they have a, that's a good deal on that router though. That, I mean, that's a solid, solid router, but you really want, if you're going to invest in a router, you want the plunge base to go with it. <sighs> that's just sad. I can't really recommend any of these deals. This, um, it's not a bad saw. The 10 inch is not a bad saw. 237. I think it's a decent price. Is it a amazing price? It drops down, and hits 250 fairly con uh, cons consistently. So I guess that's better than average. 
So I'll tell you what, we'll put a link to this. This is better than prices we've seen but not better than prices I might expect to see, like, say, actually, like, the week of Black Friday. Uh, but, you know, will they still be in stock then? Well, with today's things, who knows? With supply chain, I mean, I heard that the strike, the railroad strike, might be back on now. So, yay. Uh, there you go. The, the Zunk, the, the Zunk, says that little giant is on Woot. If you don't know what Woot is, Woot is a deals of the day site that's actually owned now by Amazon. And often they have got better deals over there. He says they got it for 187 Same one he thinks. Uh, seen any good bandsaws? I need a starter bandsaw. The Win 14, was it a, no, 10-inch bandsaw. Uh, they used to be a 14-inch bandsaw you could get super cheap, but it's disappeared. The 10-inch bandsaw... Uh, from when was on sale the other day i'll look it up here in just a minute let's take a look at this dewalt mechanic set here i don't i'm not a fan of a lot of the dewalt stuff i have some of it but the hand tools i think there's better deals out there and i really don't care for the ratchets i think the ratchets are clunky and and not a great time so we're going to pass on this one let's take a look uh and see if we can find the uh uh, what should we call it? The the bandsaw. Let's see if we can find a fourteen. Let's look for a fourteen inch one. Well, you look. Are you looking for a vertical bandsaw? Are you looking for a handheld bandsaw? You, uh, a metal cutting bandsaw? We need some qualifications here. Um, da -da -da, trunnions. Always looking at trunnions there. Da, da, da. that's a nice little setup there with that cutting station uh who has it um somebody northern tools got a setup like that for a pretty good price i think there's rikon all right let's let's look for the 10 inch bandsaw not that thing there's the win right there um there's the i used to have this one right here uh and that's one of the i we sold it when we moved i figured i'd just get another one and like right after that the prices went up and i never did replace it and that's one of those tools that i just go huh why did i sell that all right let's see here's the win 3.5 amp 10 inch two speed bandsaw with stand and work light we take a look at it here it's got a fence it's got a decent table it's got a little light there good adjustability um let's see the back side it doesn't have a blade detensioner that i can see really not a huge issue as long as you run it every so often um if you're in the shop and you're not using it just run it for a hot second just to get th the idea is that if you leave the blade sitting there for too long it'll develop uh, like a flat spot in it from being tensioned too much. Um, anyway, 347. Well, that's a good baseline. The jet. Uh, I'm not going to... I would be stunned if, there's, if, if these aren't even like the same saws. Jet just... Their budget stuff is... I, I used to be a huge fan of Jet. Uh, if you check out like the early stuff on the channel, I like had a refurbished or like I self refurbished an old jet table saw and I had a bunch of other jet stuff. I, I love, I used to love jet tools, but, uh, I'm not seeing anything about this. That's like, Ooh, you should definitely get this, uh, for an additional, was it a hundred and some dollars there? 150, uh, 160, 70 there. Rikon. Rikon makes some good stuff, and this is a decent little bandsaw, but no stand for 365 versus 347 with a stand. So that's no on the jet. That's no on the Rikon. Grizzly, $500. You got a stand. It's in that lovely grizzly green and beige. Oh, that beige. You got a bear on it. Tell me that the bear isn't worth the extra money. Uh, you got a light. You got that. But is it? It's the same saw, guys. Come on.
That is the same saw, same light, same fence, just a different paint job for more money. So I'm going to say the win wins it by a landslide. And I got to tell you, I think bandsaws are the most underrated tool that people need to have in their shop. You can cut wood with them. You can cut aluminum with them. You get a right a good blade on it you can cut some other other metals with it uh let's see here oh let me get that link here for you i put it here somewhere i just had it have you seen it did i drop it on the floor nope there it is all right in the chat all right let me go through here make check the chat message see if i missed anything uh da, 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 da uh darwin says i have the franklin we're talking about the ladders there it says very good ladder uh and a great deal on sale um there there's some fantastic step ladders i have to say and that said you know the, i never did really know my real ladder so you know having a step ladder that steps, that steps up and does the job that really says something come on it was low hanging fruit i had to go for it uh nicholas says, i scored two tb extremes two years ago for 60 dollars each at walmart oh my gosh um fred says you know it's too hot when the seat belt can burn your legs oh my gosh <laughs> watching the camping world videos here on youtube there are a bunch of scumbags oh camping world sucks i hate those people um and the and the guy who owns the company is such a sleazeball um da, da, da. deep south says amd ryzen 5 5600g on sale for 120 dollars. if you need to upgrade your pc and don't want to buy a gpu for uh for light gaming you know what that's a i should look into that so i my pc at home i bought a high-end motherboard for it but just a basic you know what was the best bang for the buck uh g or cpu for it and i should check and see if there's a a because it's an AMD board. I should look and see if there's a uh, a good deal on a chipped upgrade that. I have to figure out what board it is, though. Because I don't guess figure out what it can take. Um, vertical bandsaw. That's what we're looking at. You can just search the Prime Day deals up there in the box. Electric, electric pressure washer deals. Uh, when would you use that? <laughs> what do you think of the gear wrench 20-piece ratcheting combination set? I think it's fantastic. And when it's on sale for like fifty to sixty dollars, it is probably the best ratcheting wrench deal that, that's that's out there. It really is. I have a set of them myself. I have set, I have probably five or six different full sets of ratcheting wrenches because you know that's what we do here at the channel. We test stuff, and um, you know I get the high end icons and I love those. I gave my son who's in he's taking uh, auto shop in in school and wants to be a mechanic or a welder or something he's still trying to figure that out but i gave him that set uh, of the gear wrench because uh, they're solid and uh you know they, they just work um people may laugh but harbor freight socket sets are good for the price they are good for the price um the who makes jet uh jet is owned by i can't remember the name of the company um they're a they're a fairly big they're like the same ones who own what's that other big uh woodworking tool company is it power built or something like that it, it the, the big uh the big yellow power tools the really high-end stuff anyway they're all they used to make a lot of their own stuff and i think these days they're just oeming it for the jet lease except for the high-end stuff the super high-end stuff but for the average woodworker kind of stuff the quality in jet has really gone downhill and i'm really disappointed about it uh deep south says at least the buffering is short when it happens uh might fury says aside from deals of the day would highly recommend the win as a as a starter top pick yeah definitely i think win has for, and, and here's the thing i'm gonna say i'm not a fan of the company uh, I've tried to reach out to them on a num number of occasions and talk about like their customer service and how they work and stuff. And they, they've been just complete snoot bags and they don't have great customer service. If you buy a win, you're basically going, okay, there's no warranty. Uh, but you know, a lot of this, the budget, the low end budget kind of stuff, that's really kind of the way it, it, it goes with all of it anyway. And at $347, they're simple machines. That's the thing about bandsaws. They're dead simple. And if something breaks, the parts are pretty much universal and you can fix it yourself pretty easily 
Um, that said, and there's a lot of things you can upgrade to, like you upgrade the guide rollers and stuff like that. You can even, that's the one thing I love about the Grizzly is the Grizzly, at least the ones I've used, the bandsaws have cast iron wheels, which means there's a lot of weight in those wheels, which creates inertia for getting a nice smooth cut. All the other ones I've seen, including the Jet, uh, and a lot of other high-end ones use aluminum wheels, which work, but they don't have that kind of inertia. You're re relying entirely on the motor there. Um, anyway, that's the and then that's the only thing I might consider doing is I really got serious about it. it would be replacing the wheels in it with uh, with cast iron. Um, so maybe the guide blocks or the guide bearings and the uh, and the wheels. But that that's a like, hey, I've decided to get really serious about this and down the road kind of stuff. Energizer flashlight, awesome deal. Uh, around now says someone in my high school shop class thought cutting down a model rocket motor bandsaw was a good idea. Yeah. JPW industries. I think you're right. I think that is it. Uh, it, it wasn't, I bet it was not. Um, uh, my first thing, thank you very much for this. And for all you do myself and the community value. Thank you so much. I love hearing that you guys get value or gals, guys and gals got it. Got it. Yeah. I know we got some ladies out there. Um, so anyway, electric pressure water washer deals. Let's see what we got here. Um, let me come over here. Close that out. This is, oh, this was the Amazon, the Amazon brands. The Amazon brands are terrible. I, I'm sorry, but I, everything I've seen from Amazon Basics is just awful. Uh, and then the fluke, we talked about the fluke already. Okay, let's come back here. Bondi, yada, yada, yada. And let me we'll go back to Slick Deals. Remember, check out Slick Deals. Get your browser extension. Uh, let's see if they've popped up anything good. Well, while that's loading, let me come over here. Come back to the top. Anything? Nope. That's all the same stuff. All right. And let's look for pressure washers. Boom. Early access. Prime. Uh, what I found with most of these pressure washers is they're all about the same. There's not usually a huge $151. That's the same one. And this one is in the lovely shade of green. Look at that. See, that's what you gotta look at. Um, da, 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 da. Now, this one's only got eight reviews. This one's got 57 reviews. It's got three and a half stars. Now, we, we, if you look at this, I don't know if it's popping up on your screen, but we call this the fish hook. If you put your mouse over the uh, the stars, it shows you how many five stars, how many four stars, how many three, how many two, and how many one. And it should be a slope starting with five at the most, working down to one at the least. But if it gets down to one and all of a sudden one or two starts getting bigger and it looks like a fish hook, then it may catch you because that might be a lot of fake reviews. So let's see what those one star reviews. Now you got to look at them because sometimes it'd be like the shipping was terrible. Well, I mean, shipping happens, right? Uh, you look promising. Went to use the first time, had problems starting, went to pull the hose. You know, once on sound, I noticed the hose twisted up. No way to untangle. No way to untangle, really? Um, yeah, the pressure didn't need to be where it claimed. All these electric pressure washers claim ridiculous amounts of pressure. They're not. There's only so much power uh, you can get from a 110 uh, outlet. Doesn't compare to gas. Well, that's see like this. That's a that's a uh, a, a, a a worthless comment. Uh, of course, it's a, it's an electric pressure washer. It's not going to compare to gas. Grossly overrated. Uh, this is another one trying to compare it to gas. It was not adequate for my needs. Uh, Mary. Uh, Elder says turns off and off. That's that's not good. Uh, great compact design, but very weak. Definitely not 3,800 psi. It's not. It's gonna it's gonna be like 1,500 or 1,200 or something like that. It's gonna be the equivalent of the of like the Sun Joe or something like that. Uh, like this 1.7 24. No, it's gonna be like a 1.5. There's a foam can. A D, in fact, I have this foam cannon, and that's a great price on that. So we're gonna look at that in just a minute. I would still with these reviews. Uh, most of those people were they bought into the idea that it's gonna be uh, 3800 psi. In no way, shape, or form is this gonna be 3800 psi. You're just not gonna get that out out of a 110 outlet. So 
but you know what? I'm kind of jaded. I expect these Chinese companies and stuff to, to lie about their products. But for being a basic electric pressure washer with a great form factor, I if I was looking for one, I would probably buy it. So, in fact, I like enough. I'm going to put the link down there. Take that. All right. And while I'm working on that link, let's look at that foam cannon. Yeah, there we go. Tool Daily Foam Cannon with quarter inch uh, quick connect. One liter, five pressure washer nozzles and tips. This is a great deal. This is plastic. I know it looks like a porcelain kind of thing. It's plastic. Has your basic, you know, they're all about the same. And then you got the different tips on it you can use for other stuff. These do not work with the foam cannon, okay? And you have to have a, a pressure washer that will accept the quick release tips. They're fairly universal. Uh, and this what happens is it gets this huge layer this super thick layer of of foam on your vehicle and that lifts the the dirt up and the long and you let it sit on there and it actually kind of like scrubbing remember the old commercial for scrubbing bubbles well that's literally what it does and i thought at first that this was just people who like to have fun playing with foam i mean who doesn't but uh that no they work they really do and for 16 dollars, that is a heck of a deal all right let me get you the link for the pressure washer all right pressure washer link and then let's come over here and see whoops wrong thing there we go we'll get the link here for the uh the foam can that's a great price 16 dollars i mean the tips alone are going to be five bucks and you know if you grab them at walmart so you're basically paying ten dollars for the foam cannon itself. Uh, and that that should typically be twenty five dollars. What, what to say? This is thirty dollars. Yeah, that's reasonable. All right, there we go. All right, let me go through the comments here. I know I rambled for a while. Um, Fred says auto mechanic slash welder. Don't welders make more money? Welders also have a lot more flexibility. And they typically don't end up with their bodies being a contorted mess of pain the same way that, all you know, heavy line mechanics will, which is why I've been pushing him. And there's also kind of an artistic kind of thing with the welding. And he has that kind of he likes to feel creative and stuff. I mean, who doesn't? And uh, as I, more money, a little, little more prestige, less, you know, pain on the body. So that's why I'm kind of pushing him that way. Uh, but I've not seen one get stuck in a drill um if you take a picture or a short video you can send it to me at red at den tools.com i'll take a look at it not sure what's going on there tommy says yoast 4.5 inch bench vice for 36 dollars sounds like a decent price that sounds like a fantastic price um my fury says i almost bought the amazon basics reset blades but found the bosch for 12 dollars. good call on that Orbital Sanders Corded. That sounds like a good one to look up. Let's check those out. Uh, let me close this and close that. Um, come over here. Do that. Whew, it's getting toasty. I just took a shower and now I'm sweating over here. Uh, Phil Pow, Phil Pow. If you don't know, Phil Pow is Aki, same people as Tack Life, who got kicked off of Amazon for buying fake reviews, and they're back again. They just came up with new brand names to run their company under. Um, let's see. This skill one. This is a decent budget option for a five inch random orbit um the and i would probably i would probably take by this over the bosch i would say i've not seen the bosch is a good solid workhorse of a sander but it won't take a charge anymore so you are every time you use a battery every time you throw it on the charger you're killing a little bit of that battery uh westco Westco is this is one we could talk about, um, and I like that design. Uh, da -da, da -da, Black and Decker, no hard pass, hard pass. There's another Westco we'll look at. Uh, Westco is one of these companies that 
I thought was just like like jealous. All right, I talked to them. They said they were going to send me some products for review, and they never did. They're liars. Anyway, I heard good things about them though. But that said, let's take a look at the, not that. All right, so I'll put a link. Whoops, I'm knocking my microphone over here. I'll put a link to the uh, to the skill. There's this thing. Okay, that's the skill sander. And where's my mouse? There's my mouse. And then here's the Bosch one. And I'll put, a, if you want to step up to the Bosch, I'll put a link to that. But don't buy them just yet until we talk about all these, okay? Because we got to talk about Westco. So Westco is a brand that I thought was just another one of these no-name Chinese companies. And it is a Chinese company. Most of these power tools are. Um, but they're owned by the same people who own Works, who own uh, uh, Rockwell and uh, a bunch of other companies. Uh, not high-end by any means. These are definitely DIY grade. But uh, I'd only see, ever seen them on Amazon, and it's the same company. I'm like, so it's a company I trust. It's, you know, they make decent tools. They, they stand behind them, and uh, they're usually at a pretty good price. Now, you're going to save 20. Don't forget, when you, if you look at one of these, if, always check to see if there's a coupon because you can click on that, and now you're going to save 20%. What's that? So $54, 10% would be $5.40. So $10.80, almost 11 bucks off. That's a that's a pretty good, darn good deal. And I like this design with the, the double handle out there or the D handle, uh, as well as, as the grip back here. I like that setup for random orbit sander. Now here's the basic one. Um, the basic look at the, the turbo design there for the, uh, the dust catcher there. So anyway, let me, I'm going to put links to these. So West Coast brand, I've not used them. Uh, but, uh, oh, I didn't, I didn't do the Bosch one right. Hold on. Hold on. I got to go back and and do the uh, link to the Bosch. All right. There's the Bosch. That's going to be the basic West Co. I keep wanting to put a T in there. And this is going to be the slightly nicer one. All right. So here's the base West Co link. And then here is the one with the extra handle, the D handle on it. There we go. All right. Let me catch up on the comments here. You've gone fuzzy. <laughs> I'm always fuzzy. Stream defaulted to 144p when it restarted. Oh, lovely. Uh, yikes, this has to be a lesson in everyone's satellites and internets have terrible latency. It's not just that. It's this whole thing because I'm on the R, the new RV plan, and it gets downgraded uh, when in congested areas. Uh, basically, they want to give their existing customers premium access, but I'm out next to Lake Mead. It's not like people live out here. So I checked their congested map and sure Vegas is, but this area out here is not. Uh, I put a, uh, an issue to, I'm going to have to do a whole video. There's a whole video that has to go into this. Uh, don't run warm water through the electronics. Yes. If you've got a pressure washer, do not unless it's rated for hot water. And there are ones specifically rated for it and they cost a fortune. Do not ever run hot water through your pressure washer because most of the a lot of the internals are plastic especially like the impellers and stuff and they will uh they won't melt probably but they'll deform and they'll get chewed because they'll get soft and they'll get chewed up and it will kill it my my son did that we had one of the these uh the heart portable kind of power rinser thing and i told him to fill it up and he filled it up in the bathtub using hot water and i'm like why I didn't realize I go to use it and it worked for like 30 seconds and then it just died. And I grabbed the tank and it was hot. I'm like, why is this hot? He's like, I put hot water in it. 
Eh, interesting choice. Not really his fault. I didn't tell him not to use hot water. Uh, kids got to learn somehow, right? Uh, switch computers. There we go. What pressure washer works best with a foam cannon? Any of your any of your basic little electric ones will work just fine. Uh, a gas powered one that's going to get you uh, around twenty five hundred or, or higher is going to be better. But the electric ones work fine. Um, the mighty says rewind thirty seconds. Lag free bear, hard bear, hard with a vengeance. <laughs> Um, this may be unbearable. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, if it gets too bad, just let me know and we'll call it. And, uh, they should work with any pressure washers. They have adjustments, but, uh, just something to consider the cheap foam cans with a brass bottle cap strip. The bottle threads, uh, strips the bottle threads easily. The wider mouth plastic cap versions are usually better, but a few dollars more. Uh, for instance, I had a friend who was, uh, an underwater welder talk about making big... Dude, underwater welding is dangerous. And as such, the people who can do it and do it well get paid ridiculous amounts of money. Uh, when we first moved to Vegas uh, about four years ago, or was it five years ago at this point, uh, we were living in a Class A RV because uh, we didn't know where we wanted to, to buy a house. So we thought, well, we'll, we'll have the RV. We traveled all over the Western, or during the summer, we traveled all over the Western U.S. with the Cubs, had a great time. And then we lived in the RV while we were trying to figure out where we want, in Vegas, we wanted to live. Ended up moving to Summerlin. Big mistake. Summerlin sucks. Don't ever live in Summerlin. In fact, pro tip, don't live in Vegas. Vegas is a great place to visit. Terrible place to live. Um, anyway, the... Uh, Oh, let me see here. I got to check this. All right. Yeah, I was like, oh, there we go. Okay. Um, the, uh, but underwater, the, I knew a guy, we stayed at this place called the, the RV Oasis. Uh, it's down near the, uh, the South Point uh, Hotel uh, Casino here in Vegas. Great RV spot. Just fantastic. They got two pools. They got putt putt. They got I mean, everything. Just a great place. Uh, and great people who stay there met a lot of great people that we still had like stay in touch with and whatnot, but there was a guy, he had the biggest fifth wheel I'd ever seen. And he had every single toy imaginable. He had a slingshot. He had a full glide Harley with everything on it. He had a custom lifted golf cart. He had and his art, his fifth wheel was the kind where it's got the, the deck that comes out the back and the one that folds down off the side. Uh, he had satellite, every, he just decked to the nines. Uh, he had a, a like a, 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 was it a, he had a, some sort of like, it was even bigger than a, than a one ton. It was a, I think it was a Ford F450, uh, four door or something. He was towing the whole thing with, um, and hanging out uh, with him and, and his wife were sitting there in the hot tub, uh, chatting and it turns out he's an underwater welder and that's what he does. And he's like, I just. You know, he's like, they fly me everywhere I need to go. And so, you know, we live, you know, he's like, I live out of the RV because I can be anywhere because they're going to fly me to wherever it is. So it doesn't matter. He's like, and being in Vegas is awesome because there's flights from here. They're almost direct to every coastal place in the U.S. Um, so anyway, um, the Moo upgrade says Gulu, GP, John. Gulu's banned from this channel for unsportsmanlike conduct. So Gulu had reached out to me and said, hey, we'd like to sponsor a video. Uh, how much do you charge? So I told them and they're like, oh, that's a little too rich for our blood. Uh, let us let us think about it. I'm like, OK. And I'll be honest, I, I usually tell companies like fifteen hundred dollars because I don't like doing a lot of sponsored videos. And, uh, I try to pick a price point that, that makes them go away. Cause if I, if I just say I'm not interested, they'll, they won't leave you alone. They'll be like, but really, no, like we're going to send you a free product and it's going to be awesome. And you're gonna make so much money off of affiliate marketing and all this. And I'm like, Oh, just, I've got 1500 other companies trying to send me free stuff. I don't need I, anyway. So I, I've learned that I have to, to tell, I have to give them a price. Uh, to get them to go away. And if I give them an outrageously expensive price, then they're like, oh, okay. So anyway, 
Um, they'd also been interested in posting on in the Facebook uh, group that we have. If you don't know, we have a Dental Tools Facebook group, and it's got over a hundred thousand members, and uh, just great people over there, and we do lots of great stuff. Anyway, well, they wanted to post uh, ads over there, and I was like, no, uh, you know, we we don't really do that for that. So what did they do? They went and contacted a bunch of the members and said uh, through uh, through text messages or through instant message on Facebook and said, hey, we're Googloo and uh, we were hoping you would uh, uh, if you could help us out by posting uh, the links to our deals. And I found about half a dozen people who were every single time they asked them were posting these deals. And I finally uh, contacted one of them or watched one of the guys contacted me. And then I contacted the other ones like, hey, has Gulu been asking you to post these deals? They go, well, they do send us a thing saying like, hey, you know, and I'm just trying to help people out because I like sharing the great deals. And he didn't really think about what was going on. They were trying to do an end around, you know, basically free advertising campaign. And it was just shady as all heck uh, that some company would pull that. Anyway, well, they reached out to me earlier this week and we're like hey we'd like to we're you know we'd, we're hoping we could send you a thing and and i'm like no uh I'm like you guys have been blacklisted for what you did and they're like we don't know what you're talking about we never do that kind of stuff i'm like so you're telling me that there's companies pretending to be you emailing people and asking them to post your deals that yeah like i'm gonna believe that they're like well if you you know you can't prove it i'm like oh all right right we're going to play that game. You're going to try and play dumb. Nope, you're done. And uh, so you can buy them and they may make great products, but a company that's that shifty and trying to promote their stuff and is willing to cheat people uh, and creators is uh, they're they're not the kind of company that I want to deal with. Um, bandwagon agency buying Christmas gifts in the hundred to three hundred dollar range for the spin the wheel presents for the company Christmas party. Been trying to stuff in the closet all year. I need 25 more gifts. Tool suggestions. Um, in the hundred to three hundred dollar range, um, I would do look at like uh, combo kits for like drill driver, um, uh, uh, yeah, like brushless drill driver, uh, impact kind of kits. Um, maybe maybe Dewalt because they're just so common there and that they're easy to get batteries and other stuff for everywhere. Um, the, what else would I, would I go in that, that area? I don't know. I think that would probably be the default one I would go with because it's the easiest one that you know that everyone's going to be happy with kind of thing. Um, Indy Bay says I did recently purchase a 10 inch Cirque saw blade to go with my first miter saw and it's the Denal brand. Oh, I believe it's an Amazon brand. Would be curious if anyone has any experience. Oh, the Denali. I did hear about that. That's the Amazon tool, the, the mid-level stuff. That's not like the super entry-level stuff. I've heard okay things about it. Um, the uh, nothing, nothing amazing about them, but anyway. But nothing terrible either. Um, let me see. Check on the other comments here. Da -da -da. Bulk bucks. Oh my gosh, we had a we had a buck die in front of the house uh, the other day, uh, and it was one that had been we think it was hit by a car because one of its antlers was fine and the other one had been smushed. It looks like it was growing that way, but we think maybe it got hit when it was younger and it just started growing that way after that. Uh, but it would grow along its snout and made it look like a rhinoceros, like a demon deer. It was terrifying. Anyway, and it it. Uh, it laid down and took a dirt nap right in front of our front door. And the wife walks out and she's like, she calls me. She's like, there's a dead deer in front of our door. I'm like, I'm in Vegas. What do you expect me to do? <laughs> anyway, uh, how about a hard drive deal? Uh, well, I, I just, I posted a deal earlier in the stream for that, uh, whatchamacallit for the SanDisk external hard drive, uh, two terabytes. That thing's a great deal. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't use actual spinny hard drives anymore. Everything I do is, uh, SSDs, um, preferably the, was it the MN.2? I can't, can't remember the nomenclature for that. Um, 
The iPhone 13. I have an iPhone 13. I hate the iPhone 13. Uh, I hate the iPhones in general. The voice to text is ridiculously bad. Uh, the camera's good, but I've had good cameras. It gets wicked hot. Uh, the screen resolution is nice, but you know, I had a $250, uh, Moto G, uh, power that I would, I could use for two to three days without charging. And I decided, you know what, we're going to splurge. We're going to get iPhones for everyone. The kids have been begging for an iPhone. The wife wanted to try an iPhone. Fine. We'll get iPhone. We got everyone iPhones. The first person to say that she hates the iPhone was my wife. And then I was like, you know what? This voice to text, it is just, and they did an update recently and it got better. But it's still not good. My my Moto G for two hundred fifty dollars is way better as at voice to text. Android Android is a better system. I'm sorry. I will be going back to it. Um, trick to the phone can is finding the proper proper soap to water ratio in the bottle. Using a soap meant for a foam can and may help too. Yeah, you definitely want to make sure you. I use uh, was it called Chemical Brothers or something like that. Um. My Chemical Romance, I don't know. Bear, you're the best. Thank you for your work, uh, P3 says. Saving us money for our collection of tools. That's awesome. Um, Tommy says, I'm in the market for a good angle grinder. We just talked about one. There, The Bosch. Scroll up in the in the, the feed. There's a great one. Um, call a butcher. I wouldn't recommend that anybody eat this deer. It, it, as deformed as it was, and it was kind of swollen. I, I wonder if it had that chronic wasting disease thing. Uh, allegedly, you can eat them, uh, but uh, I would not try it. Uh, M.2, yep, SSD, uh, NVMe. That's the one. Thank you. And I, I bought one of the kits when I up when my last lap, laptop imploded or tried to explode. Uh, it had one of those uh, lithium polymer batteries in it. And uh, it I noticed my keyboard was an arc one day and i'm like well that's interesting <laughs> that's not a good sign and uh so anyway i ended up gutting that thing and taking it apart and uh the um the whatchamacallit so i i, I saved the uh the ssd out of it and i bought one of those little external cases and put it in that those suckers get hot <laughs> so hot uh, which is, and I'd heard they got hot, which I, I got an aluminum one that was basically a giant heat sink or a mini heat sink. Um, and I still have that somewhere, but it's not even as fast as the newer versions that I've got. They're so screaming fast compared to the old hard drives. Yeah, for instance, I'll never go back to spinning hard drives again. No way. Not even, not even for storage, as far as I'm concerned. I can get two terabytes for 150 bucks. I'm a happy camper um and they're only going to get better favorite pb swiss tool um i don't use pb swiss i they got great screwdrivers and such uh but it, it's not a brand that uh that i use uh pretty fly for a knife guy says hey barbecue 76 in the house my dewalt drill did that used to have three batteries it's down to one and a half I've had it for 10 years and I've been and it's been solid even though through the abuse, which is saying something. Um Barbecue 76, am I the only one hoping to see Flex in Ego deals? Well, I don't think you're gonna see Flex because uh, I don't think they sell on Amazon, but Ego, I'm surprised we haven't seen any. You know what we should check? Let's see uh if we could get hold on. Tyler says Spiring Woodworker. Uh, looking for a cheaper job site style table saw that I can easily move around. I've seen many cheap ones, but not sure which one to get. So if you're going to go with like a standard kind of one that's got like wheels that can move around, the Delta or Rigid, uh, the, they're the same thing. They're both made by the same company. Uh, they're fabulous saws for the money. You're, you cannot go wrong with them. That said... Uh, as far as like a job site, if you're looking for like a folding job site saw, something you can use and set up, the best one I've seen for that kind of stuff, and I always recommend it, it's our go-to. Anyone around the channel knows exactly what I'm going to say, and we're going to see if it's on sale. Let's let's find out. As I knock my microphone over again, I need a microphone holder. Um, I don't know, a Metabo H. Whoops, come on, spacebar. There we go. 
HPT. Um, come on. Uh, what are we looking at? We're looking at table saws. There we go. There we go. And boom, it's this saw right here. And that is not a screaming deal. It's not a terrible deal. Uh, it honestly, it, it's not that bad. Uh, so let's take a look at it, shall we? So here's what I like about this saw. And they, they don't give like a good picture from the side, which is annoying. Uh, there it is. Now you see, like that's, you can't even really see what's going on in that picture. Look, there's a piece of wood. Look, there's a wheel. I bet this one's green and says something. Yeah, it's the same image as this. Anyway, so here's what you got here. You've got a table saw built into a, a four-leg stand, which isn't bad. Uh, you got it. You can wheel it. You fold it over, fold it up, wheel it around. So when you're not using it, it just folds up, goes up against the wall or something. And then for the saw itself, it's got an outfeed table. It's got an extension. And on top of that, the table itself is larger than your average job site saw. Definitely bigger than a compact one. It's got the, it's similar to the ratcheting style like you'd see on the DeWalt style fence, but I think it's a chain drive rather than a rack and pinion. Either way, it gives, at the end result is the same. You turn the little spinning dial and you get the exact measurement that you want right there. This, this is a, a great system. Uh, and at 450, I mean, if I was like, I'm going to buy one right now, that would probably be the one I'm going to buy. In fact, I have, I used to have the Delta that I was talking about. I got rid of that. That was the other one I, I got, I sold when I moved. And I would say that I, I would miss that one too, except for the fact that rigid sent me the, uh, well, I should say Delta because Delta's parent company is, is making it for both companies now. Uh, and they sent me the, the rigid version and we set it up in the shop and stuff used it. it's great it's fantastic the only problem is my shop's not big enough for a dedicated table saw i just don't use table saws enough i'm as i often say i'm not a woodworker i just often work with wood and i would much rather in many cases uh use a circ saw and a straight edge to rip stuff down uh and then i've got miter saws and other stuff for cutting i just and I, and you know i love band saws so i don't use table saws all that often so when i do uh i'd rather have something like this i could fold up and use pull out when i need it now as to the average going price on it uh it did dip down recently in fact we had it in the deals of the week it hit 400 dollars, but it has been fairly consistently above the 450 mark it was been 450 for over the summer uh but then it, it was at it was legit up to 569 for quite a while and then it dropped down into, into the low fives uh, it's not the best deal out there it's not a screaming early access deal but i would still i i don't think that there's a better option somebody can somebody can suggest a better option for a mobile saw uh i'd love to hear it Put it, put it in the comments. Let's. Oh, I, I like to see it when you guys are wrong. I, I kid the bear kids just teasing. All right, come on. Where's the, where's the, what did I do with the link? There it is. All right, let's paste that in there and pop. All right. Identical to Hitachi. Hata Matabo HPT is Hitachi. So Hitachi got bought by Haikoko, which also bought Matabo. And then in the U.S., they changed the Hitachi name to Matabo HPT. So, and that's what HPT stands for, Hitachi Power Tools. All right. Um, Fred says, I had a spinning hard drive die after one day. I remember back in the day with the IBM desk stars and everyone was calling them the death stars because they used that pixie dust thing technology they came out with to cram more storage in there and they just died. Oh, they're terrible. Um, Deep South Texas, $150 for a two terabyte SSD is an excellent price. It is a good price. And I love that. I, ha I use that in as you know part of my my studio every day and, and i i can't recommend it enough um let's see here da, 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 da. john loss has got to go the audio is too choppy oh we're gonna miss him um so matabo is now matabo itself 
is a is a different brand. There's Metabo and then there's Metabo HPT. Metabo HPT is really Hitachi, just rebranded. Metabo is a higher grade. I would call Metabo a top tier grade along the lines of Hilti, Bosch, Milwaukee. And Metabo I, HPT, I would say, is a low tier professional budget pro, pro kind of brand. Um, I would put it's higher than than uh, uh, than like the prosumer brands like Cobalt and and such, but it is, it's still definitely I, I think a pro level. But it, it's it's like basically a a it's a budget pro. That's what I would call it. I think there's really five rankings of power tools. Uh, you've got pro budget pro. Was it was here pro budget pro prosumer DIY and crap. Um, <laughs> pardon me, but that, that's just the way it goes. Um. Uh, Indie Base says, I forgot to say, the bear recommends a tech, 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 po power screwdriver on Prime Day over the summer, and I bought it on a whim. It's exceeded all my expectations. Really great for what it is. It's not a bad little screwdriver, is it? It, it? I still use that thing. Uh, what's your thoughts on the Westinghouse inverter generator that is on deals? My church is looking at it for our mobile food pantry. It's not a, a Westinghouse is not a bad brand. Here's what I'm gonna say. Westinghouse, if you're older uh, bear like myself, you remember Westinghouse. Westinghouse is dead. This is what we call a zombie brand. Uh, in fact, it's a it's even worse than that. It is a brand as a business. So a investment company bought the brand. They don't make anything, and they leased the brand to different companies looking to make products, and they want to have a recognizable brand name on those products. So it it's now. I'm not saying that's negative. I'm just saying. Don't expect, you know, the old school Westinghouse kind of quality. I would say the Westinghouse generators are a second a, a second or third tier generator. Hondas and stuff like that, they're going to be your top tier. Uh, and then you're going to have like the, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to have like the, the Harbor Freight Predator, which is like 99% as good as the, the Honda uh, or maybe like 97 and a lot, a lot less expensive. That's something like that's going to be your second tier and your third tier is going to be, uh, and I would put champion up there with the, uh, with the, uh, the, the Harbor Freight, but Westinghouse is going to be a, t a step down from that, the third tier kind of stuff. Uh, but if it's a good price, then it's a good price. So, um, hold on, let me go take a drink here. As I said, it's getting hot and stuffy in here, a little dry. How can we dry and stuffy at the same time? That's what I want to know. Oh, let's see here. Um, yeah, and definitely if you can get an enclosed inverter generator, those are going to be the really quiet ones. Um, Wings of Pizzas is nice clearance deals and lows for the Metabo HP Metabo kit a few weeks ago. Um, Buddy says, looking to get new power tools. I have Black & Decker. Don't laugh. I bought a first house and I was broke. It happens. It all happens. Uh, Home Depot was a, was a good has a good deal on DeWalt Brushless now. Or wait for Black Friday deals. If you don't need those tools now, I would definitely wait. There's going to be some screaming deals the, the two weeks before Black Friday. Uh, and you'll be able to get them, order them and stuff, so you don't even have to go in the store if you don't want to. Uh, be sure and if you're in a <laughs> shameless plug, make sure you've chopped the old like button and smash the subscribe and ring the bell. So, because we ramp up and follow all the deals right on through to black Friday. So we're going to have, in fact, and through to Christmas and even the after Christmas deals. So make sure you, you, you're following the channel, but that said, there will be better deals. Um, Jeff says, went to your website to find the pro tool category recommendations and all your pages are under construction. They are. That's a lot of, it's a lot of work to, to organize all my thoughts and stuff and put them in a, in a, in a, in a, in a good way that's searchable and whatnot. And on top of that, I'm not much of a web designer, so it takes a while to get it done. Bark 76 says, I realize Flex isn't going to be on Amazon, but after you harping about it. I downloaded the Slick Deals app, and I did see that I easily found the sales from Lowe's to be continued. I just downloaded the app last night, so I'm going to have to play with it and find out how it is. But so far, I'm glad I took the recommendation. That's awesome. I, I use Slick Deals all the time. 
I always check it before I, I go to make a purchase. You know, I have my, my other sources and stuff. I know how to look things up and find things, but uh, Slick Deals is always one of the ones we go to. Uh, let's see here. We got 343 concurrent watching. That's awesome. Uh, two chance views. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, if you're watching, and you like what you see here, make sure to chomp the like button for us. It, it's an, a, you know, a YouTube thing. I hate to be the, the YouTuber who panders for that kind of stuff, but please, please uh, chomp the like button. Help feed a starving bear in your area. All right, let's, let's go check out some of the lightning deal. Shall we? Let's see what's cracker lacking as it were. Uh, let me minimize those. All right, early access. Where where's the shop old deals? And then lightning deals. JBL, I bought these for my wife. Um, she said that they're good, but that she. Uh, but she doesn't like them. And she, she's, you know, the thing about sticking something in your ear, none, they're not all shaped the same. And she didn't like the shape of these and prefers the shape of the, uh, the AirPods. But that said, for $40, these are, these are a good one. So I'll put a link to those if you're looking for something like that. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got popping here. I got to get this link here. Come, come on. You can, you can do it. There we go. BrickSeek is all... Yes, BrickSeek is a good one. I like using BrickSeek. You know, they did some sponsorship with the channel and they gave me access to their paid version. I honestly was a little disappointed with the paid version. There's some good stuff on there, but there's so many people using the paid version to do uh, retail arbitrage uh, where they're just buying stuff and reselling it. It's just annoying trying to find stuff you think you get a great deal and like oh look it's all gone all right what do we got here lg laptop for a thousand dollars okay let's take a look what they consider a thousand dollar laptop we're looking at uh i7 1260p processor 16 gigabytes uh 256 nvme sd full hd webcam wi-fi 6 thunderbolt uh it's pretty is it super slim it looks super slim. Um, 16 inch. That's about as big as I would go. I, I've had a 17 inch laptop and I felt like I was carrying a boat anchor. I uh, 15 inch laptops are, are my happy spot. Uh, I might be able to do a 16 inch. This thing has been right at $1,500 for some time and it dropped down to $1,299 in August. So $1,000 is a good price on this model. But I'm I'm a heavy user, and I 30, 32 gigs is minimum for me, as far as RAM. Um, the pop up is blocking what size it is. Two fifty six one terabyte, so two terabyte at thirty two, and that's two thousand uh, dollars. screw that. Not for that. I'm not. Uh, and did it have, I didn't even see if it had a discrete video card. If it doesn't have a discrete video card, that means like a separate GPU. Uh, I don't know why they call it discrete. That's the terminology they use. Uh, Neatbot P1 Pro Pet Grooming Vacuum thing. That'll traumatize your little furry friend, won't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. That is hilarious. <laughs> that is too funny. I love that. Um, <laughs> bad things are happening to you, animals. Uh, parent chopper egg slicer mandolin. What the Iron Maiden type vice is that? That is ridiculous. Oh, I got to take a look at this. So it is a man. It looks like it's going to just, oh, it pushes it through the, uh, I see the blades are at the bottom and it pushes it down through the, those blades. Okay. Um, that makes, well, that boy, that onion is shiny, isn't it? Um, all right. Anyway, let's keep going. Projector for $67. All these cheap project projectors, they're terrible. They're just, they're not enough light coming out of them. 
Uh, I Health Pro. That thing's okay. Um, da -da -da -da. Little label printer. Any? Uh, come on, where's all the cool lightning deals? Ice makers. I gotta tell you, if you don't have an ice maker in your fridge, getting one of these countertop ice makers, they're fantastic. Eighty nine dollars. Um, that seems about a standard price. Probably a little bit cheaper, I think, than I paid. Whoops, I just clicked on the pharmacy again, didn't I? Um, I I have bought. We had one. Now here's the thing: if you've got hard water in your area, and you're running one of these ice makers, you're gonna want to run a vinegar bath through it like once a month if you use it fairly heavily to decalcify it. Uh, and it and it and then one thing of ice after that and you're good to go. It's amazing. It'll make basically a glass's worth of ice in six to six to eight minutes. It's really cool to watch. Um, it's neat tech, $90. Uh, yeah, I would definitely say if you don't have an ice maker and you like some nice frosty beverages, these things are great. The only downside is they don't keep stored ice very well, usually. Um, and so don't think that they're just going to sit in there forever. That, that ice will melt and then it'll get reused. But, um, you know, I'll put a link to this because that is a good buy. Especially you're looking for a Christmas present for somebody, uh, for the missus or something like that. Maybe somebody in an RV. Uh, this is a great option right here. Um... Come on. There's my link. Rick, is, we're walking us from the movie Dave. It is. That is exactly right. Oh, my gosh. Um, Let's see here. Jeff says, please continue your Made in the USA series. I'm of the buy once, cry once mindset. I'm getting back into the pro industry and I'm struggling to make sense of what the battery family to uh, to marry, Makita XGT. Um, well, here's the deal. You, you, um, I'm just going to say this because you brought up the Made in the USA. Just understand that there's not really any Made in the USA power tools. Uh, the Snap-on has some, but, even the, but the batteries and the chargers are not made in the USA. And it really irks me because they'll sell a combo kit as being made in the USA, when two thirds of the combo kit is not. Uh, but anyway, that said, uh, uh, as long as the influencer doesn't tell people that they're getting free tools and I'm not saying that they specifically tell you to do that, but like they contacted me and said, Hey, can we send you some tools? And I said, sure. And don't worry. I always notify cause it's a federal law as well as uh, terms of condition on, on, uh, uh, what do you call it on YouTube here that you disclose that sort of thing. And it's just basic ethics. But anyway, I just wanted to tell them just so they know. And I never heard from them again. And about once a year, they reach out to me and then they're like, Oh, it's you. Never mind. Uh, and I asked them, I got a hold of their head of PR. I said, why do you keep dealing with YouTubers who are breaking federal law, who are in and are in a, in a, in a, just not being ethical. And their response was, we never Milwaukee does not pay for reviews. And I'm like, that is not even close to the question I asked you. And then they refuse to ask, answer any more questions from me. So, and that said, I would still buy Milwaukee because a uh, five-year warranty, they stand behind the warranties. They have great batteries and, and great parts. And there's lots of great sales on them, but you can't go wrong with Makita. You really can't. Uh, do you just pour water in or does it have a hookup to water? Usually, most on this one, I don't know for sure. The ones we used, we just pour water into them. But several of them have a spot on the back, and it does not show that here, where it can be hooked up to a tap water source. Also, there's another thing you can do. They make pumps. Because we had a at, a, at an office I had, we had a refrigerator that had an ice maker, but there was no water there. So they have this pump that sticks into like one of the water bottles you get from a water cooler. So you just set it down on the ground, put the pump in it and seals it up, plug it in. And it feeds at just the pressure that a, uh, that any of these ice makers need, uh, and does a great job and they're not expensive either. Uh, any deals on home, home theater subwoofers? Uh, I have not seen any. I will check in just a second as I'm knocking my microphone over again. 
There we go. All right, and where we're going? We're going to go over here, and did I click on? There we go. All right, we'll look for subwoofers in just a second. I want to go through and check out any more of the lightning deals. That one we looked at. Poof, gone. All right, Anchor Nebula Cosmos 4K. Really? That looks cool. $1,700. That price does not look cool. That is, that's a hefty little price. It's in hot water. And the nice thing is the base just sits there. So you pick them up right here. This is what we have. We have the Hamilton Beach one. Uh, and the Hamilton Beach one is fantastic, but it's also $55. Um, I would definitely recommend this. Uh, it, we eat ramen all the time. Uh, it's just a quick, easy go-to kind of thing. Um in any kind of instant soups, teas, hot chocolate, uh, for cleaning. Uh, what my wife, she makes all sorts of soups and stuff with them. Just there's always a use for hot, for good scalding hot water almost instantly. Um, the so let me let me put a link to that. I know it's not so, I know, I'm aware. Minimize those. Let's see here. Mono price. I, I'll be honest. I I don't even use equipment like this anymore. I, when I was younger, I was into that sort of thing. But these days, I wouldn't even know what a good subwoofer was. All right. I'm going to put the link here for the hot water kettle. That thing is fantastic. You, you need to get yourself one of those things. I mean, if you don't have one, are you really living? Um, Ray says, bought a small ice maker for RV. I'm amazed at how fast it makes ice. Right? See, Ray knows. He gets it. Those things, I, and we'll, we have an outdoor kitchen, and we keep it out there, and people will come by, and they'll chat and stuff, and they're like, wait, is that an ice maker? And they're like, oh, my gosh, I miss ice. Because so many people have tiny fridges and tiny freezers that they can't have, like, real ice in there um and we're lucky we have a residential size fridge and freezer inside our rv but then i also have a fridge and because you know we've part we are family of five and the labradog too so uh we've got the um the residential fridge and freezer inside <coughs> excuse me and we've got uh one in the outdoor kitchen as well as the ice maker and stuff out there I love that outdoor kitchen. We do all, we do all our cooking outside. I, I made steaks last night uh, on, we have a, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, not convection, induction. We have an induction cooktop. And I did steak on there. All right. Da, da, da. Uh, Wings and Pizza says, I've never heard a YouTuber that reveal reviewed a milwaukee tool say they got it free of charge right and then how many of them have you seen where they're reviewing tools that aren't even out yet so you know they didn't buy it you know it got sent to them and they're not even saying hey you know they, they <laughs> or what about this is what i love i've had several companies reach out to me and say hey we're going to do one of these big demo days at our corporate offices can we fly you out now heart which is a budget brand. They have twice tried to get me to fly out to South Carolina. And I, I'm not a big one for flying. I would rather drive, but I just don't have the time for it. And anyway, they they will fly you out there. They'll put you in a posh hotel and they will take you out to extraordinary, amazing dinners like every night. And that's hard. What do you think uh, Milwaukee is doing? And Milwaukee has been flying and putting people up, they do these junkets uh, out to Chicago and up north and, and such, and they or or into Wisconsin. And these YouTubers are going there. They're taking these free trips, and then they're not being like, "Oh, and by the way, Milwaukee, you know, dropped a you know a couple grand on flying me out here." So just so you know, I'm <laughs> no one's disclosing any of that, and, and Milwaukee's like just fine with it. No. Go I know it's a violation of federal law, but who cares? Anyway, uh, Fred says, speaking of made in the USA, GM is talking about closing up shop in the U.S. and will move overseas due to Biden's new IRS rules. I, 
I would not doubt it in the least bit. Uh, need the ice if you had loved to have a margarita or two. Oh, I had a, I went to Big T's Cantina down here in Boulder City last night. Had uh, the chicken fajita, which is okay. Their food is it's a little it's a, it strikes me as being a little on the fancy side, not like truly authentic Mexican kind of stuff. But they got good margaritas and they have nice outdoor seating. So, um. Fred says, I swear, has anyone looked at luggage? A new car would be cheaper than a new set of luggage. Um, I have not seen any deals on Makita. Um, and somebody else asked, motor oil or filters? Haven't run across any of that. When does the bear hit the road? Mrs. the bear. Mrs. Bear and the two cubs are flying down next weekend, on next Sunday. Uh, Milwaukee giveaway to each organization to attend pipeline, a drill driver and impact in a packout case to take with them to review. How about this? I've even seen like DeWalt has, and they're usually better than this, but I've seen them. There's so many YouTubers who, who are just not honest about what's going on. And it's funny because I get people who are like, Oh, you're a shill for blah, blah, blah. And, and they're usually, they're usually like Milwaukee or DeWalt fan fanboys complaining because I'm talking about Harbor Freight. And I'm like, hey, I'm honest. I'm at least telling people what's going on. And and the reality is this, folks. I literally have companies lining up to give me free products. I turn most of them away. I don't have people are like, well, you can't be honest because you're getting free products. I get free products from anybody I want and I can say anything I want. And if that company never wants to deal with me again, fine. Then the next company will give it to give stuff to me and i've said lots of negative stuff about harbor freight in fact i think they're kind of pissed at me right now they're really ticked off that i've been showing all these uh leaked items uh let's see here Did, uh, anything else but how about the same we, we talked about that we talked about this um let me let's check these lightning deals again sorry i don't know much about subwoofers uh knife that is not a good knife set uh is that a heated Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Pop design, the hot seat, USB heated portable camping chair. Perfect for outdoor sports, beach, picnics, extra large armrests, travel bag, five pockets, cup holder, two pack, battery pack, not included. We mean battery pack, not included. Did come on. And we're reconnected. Look at that. Look at that. High, medium, low. That's super cool. Single, I gotta go to the pop store now. I'm intrigued by these. That'd be cool out in the you know fall in Montana, sitting in a nice warm seat. Oh, don't maybe I'll get one of these uh, as a Christmas present for the wife. She would absolutely fall out. Um, wow, they got a whole line of these things. But the battery pack's not included. The original hot seat. Well, that's just too much effort to find that. All right. Um, Scott says, tell Harbor Freight that's part of the fun to hear about. That I know. They're... I think there's people at Harbor Freight who just don't like me. Um, the I've called a bunch of like the the middle managers out and stuff for being, you know, whatever. I know one of the guys when they when Icon when they came out with the Icon line, and they uh, they were introducing the uh, what should call it, the um, oh the 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 breaker bar, and I'm like the. Why would anybody buy that when you get the Pittsburgh breaker bar for like $15? They're like, well, this one's heavier duty and less, you know, and less likely to break. And I'm like, last I checked, they have a lifetime warranty. So I think I'll be good with the Pittsburgh. He was, he was not pleased with me. Um, uh, pickleball. Yeah, I, I know that's taking everyone by storm. Everyone loves their pickleball. Uh, the balance board and a dream cloud mattress. Uh, da, 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 da. 
I'm not seeing anything else super exciting. Anyway, tomorrow I'm going to do a recap video. It's not going to be a live stream, so it's going to be like a best of kind of thing. Uh, all the hot deals and stuff that you can still get. All right. Anyway, the Johnny, there were some Bosch deals. You have to scroll to back earlier in the near the early part of the, the, the live stream. Anyway, I got to go. It is getting too hot here, so I got to turn the AC on. So that means we're going to bring this live stream to a close. That said, I want to say thank you again to Slick Deals for sponsoring the video. Don't forget to check out your free browser extension. Also, if you just want to check and see what deals are hot in on the, the Amazon thing, I've got links down below to both of those, to the free browser, as well as to this community they've set up. Remember, they got 12 million people over there finding great deals. And all the hot deals are showing up right here on this. They set up a whole page just for Amazon deals. There's the sand disk we were talking about. So... If you get the link from down below, if you're looking for that hard drive, there's the external one for 160 bucks. That's a great deal. Uh, and it's not from Amazon. I think it's directly from San or Western Digital, whoever now. Uh, MacBook Air. I don't like the MacBook Airs. My wife loved one. She used one for years. All right. Anyway, that's all the that bear has for you today. Uh, make sure you hit the old uh, like button there. Uh, feed, Got to feed that algor algorithm there. Also, don't forget to uh, hit chop the subscribe. Make sure you're... Uh, you're subscribed so you don't miss out any of the deals coming up towards Black Friday and beyond. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.